welcome to Snowdonia with Firefox and today we're tracking, we're on the trail of the otter. I'm on a tidal estuary, uh, with lots of uh, fresh water mixing in with the salt water, the sea just at the horizon there and lots of marshy area, perfect habitat for the otter. Uh, scientific name is Lutra Lutra. And in the UK, river otters, sea otters, same species. Now up on the river bank here, I've found some signs and some tracks. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin around so I've got the tracks in between me and the sun. And that's going to help with the, the shadowing uh, inside the track. And it should stand out a bit clearer. So I'm just going to spin around, see if you can see this tracks in between me and the sun and they should start to come out and stand out a bit clearer. There we go. At first glance we might dispel these as belonging to dogs. I've got two prints here, the one on the left uh, walking off to the left and the one on the right walking off to the right. And we're going to count the pads, front pads on these tracks got a very slightly less distinct one there. One, two, three, four, five. And on this one, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got five pads. So if you get five, look alive, it's not going to be a dog. Uh, domestic dogs, of course, unless it's a bit of a freak, it's going to have four front pads. We've got five and that tells me otter. This track here is the rear pad and measures about eight and a half centimeters in length and the width will be about six and looking at the front pad comes in at about five and a half, maybe six, by about the same again, so fairly round. And we can see the, see the heel pad here on the rear foot. So there's an idea of the lengths, but the key point is that we've got five toe pads, one, two, three, four, five. If you're really lucky you get a really good print you might see some of the webbing in between the toes because indeed the toes are connected by webbing that'll only really show up in a really soft substrate uh, snow or really soft mud you can just about make uh, some of the webbing out but as I say key point five toe pads the otter is part of the weasel family and the way they usually travel common uh, way of traveling is by bounding so it's almost like the back two feet are trying to catch up with the front two and they bound along uh, common print pattern for the otter is kind of diagonal uh, set of four prints we've got these marked out with the sticks one two three four then a bit of a bound and we've got another four there roughly in a, in a diagonal and the common distance Travelling at a kind of common speed, normal bound for an otter, about 45 centimetres, something like that. One thing to be careful of when you count front toe pads is that sometimes the thumb pad, as it were, is uh, sometimes that doesn't register very clearly, so have a really good look at that. First glance, you might see one, two, three, four. Closely, there's the print uh, number five. Occasionally, with otter tracks, certainly in deep snow, you'll get a mark where the tail drags, leaves a mark behind. Um, difficult to see any signs of tail drag here, so I'm going to follow this trail along. I'm going to follow it to uh, a couple of high spots and just check on the high spots, areas of raised ground or piles of rocks. I'm going to look for 
a sprained or dropping, which is going to confirm everything for me. So. Confirmation if needed, we've got uh, otter sprain, droppings of the otter, and we've got things like uh, fish scales, fish bones in there, even, by the look of it, a few tiny tentacles. So it's on a nice high spot on the bank there, good scent signal to other otters. And we've got a brown out area as well. The area is quite brown from the acid from the otters sprained or dropping. Fantastic. Remember, if it's five, look alive, you've got yourself an otter.